What it is with y'all, it's your boy coming at y'all with another video. And in today's video, we got Tom McDonald with Everybody Needs Me. Now, I know a ton of people feel a whole bunch of different ways about Mr. Tom McDonald. But to me, this that saucy white boy that can rap. He a true artist. Now, chill. Look, Tom McDonald, he's commented on a few of my reactions to him before. You know, I really rock with him. He rocks with me. So we rock together, you know what I mean? Now listen, a lot of people think that, you know, he's just a clown. He just comes out just blah, 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 blah. But he does do it in an entertaining way. But you really got to understand and understand what he's saying in these songs. Because a lot of the time he's speaking facts. He's speaking the real. And people don't understand that. But you know we rock with Tom McDonald. We always going to rock with McDon Tom McDonald. We always going to react to his drop. So let's see what he got for us in this one with Everybody Needs Me. Brain dead. Since when did everybody identify as they them? Cut up other penises and trade them for some fake breasts. I ain't homophobic, I got gay friends. I just think it's weird that the world's so offended. They tell us fat is beautiful, well, they take those epic. They wanted to get rich and they started a pandemic. And they really want to win, so they're rigging the elections. Everybody's offended by everything every second. And any time that I mention the men can never get pregnant. I get aggressively threatened by kids with 17 genders who think a word is a weapon and want to teach me a lesson. And it's crazy, P. Diddy diddling rappers and hitting women on camera. Conviction ain't gonna happen, hit the evidence. Instead of putting him in the slammer, cause he's too rich to be canceled. We try to fill a prison cell with the president. Morgan cannot move. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He got Canada around his. Listen. I don't know where I'm going to start. I think I'm going to start, first of all, by talking about the he, she, they, them, their, them, all that stuff. You know what I mean? I don't understand. For me personally, now I'm not trying to get, you know, controversial, controversial on this, on this, on my channel or anything like that. You know, I, 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 res I love and respect everybody. You know, I don't care who you are. You know what you do. If you're happy in life, in your life, that's all that matters. Because I know that I'm 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 comfortable with myself. I'm happy with myself. I'm living my life. Everybody around me is good. You know what I mean. But I just don't get it how that's such a big thing in today's day where it's like you gotta address me. This you got man. Years ago when I was in school, that didn't even matter. Like who? Like I I don't know. I just don't. I don't care about that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I I just don't think it's something I'll ever understand. It's not because I don't want to understand. It's just because it's just not something that that I can understand. The second thing I wanted to touch on is when he, you know how he said that men can't get pregnant, men can't get pregnant. And I see, I watch these TikTokers, I watch these TikTokers that go live, you know, almost every day and they debate between, you know, Trump and Biden. I feel like this song is going to have me rambling, but I'm going to finish up this point, then we're going to keep it going. Uh, I watch them, you know, debate all the time and, you know, they debate different talk, topics and everything. Uh, Parker and Dean. And they and and they you know they bring up you know Trump supporters people who are against abortion all sorts of stuff right and they they always go back and forth like everybody's going back and forth always a debate and everything and I see them saying oh yeah men can get pregnant blah 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 you ever heard of IVF you ever heard of this stuff man a straight man a man no, I shouldn't say a straight man a man that was born biologically a man a male cannot get pregnant I'm gonna tell you that right now now listen that's just that's just that's just that's just how it goes okay. Keep going. Fill a prison cell with the president. Morgan cannot move to the USA where you're probably a racist if you're not gay. All of my blacks, all of my whites, if you want to left, if you want to right, if you got a weenie and or the genie, they them he, she. Everybody needs me. All of my straights, all of my gays, all of my bias who swing both ways. If you got a weenie, doctors and pee pee, say them he, she. Everybody needs me. One the doctor. Tell him say me mad. Me to see one rapper. He a chi chi man. I think the world's gone mad. Do black lives still matter or is trans the new black? Every time I rap, I got them crap in their pants. They having cardiac arrest like they all had the jab. It's weird, take a look at your history. You're yelling free Palestine. Look what happened when you freed Britney. Your children ain't gay. They've been watching too much Disney. Eminem fans praying shady will diss me. Everybody's so triggered that I just keep getting bigger. They want a Morgan Wall in me like Tom McDonald said. Say. I just want to know about which rich celebrities kiss kids The Epstein list is hit from existence I don't want to be nobody other than me I want to choke the woke until they struggle to breathe Hollywood is a joke and I'm exposing the creeps Like Ellen Page and a man if she's squatting the pee Morning, Canada, move. Man, I feel like I could just touch on everything here Because, you know, we're not going to get political and everything We're just going to react to the song I'm going to touch on what I feel like I need to touch on and everything But it's just, it is really crazy in the direction that this world's going you know, this world's gone. And, you know, the other part that I really, you know, the biggest part about it all is a lot of these, you know, rappers, 
these celebrities, these influencers, these vloggers, these bloggers, these YouTubers, all that type of stuff, the streamers, they are the, you know, they, they are the ones, those are the main toxics. Those are the main cancers to, to society. And it's the stuff that they're putting out, right? Aiden Ross, you guys know who he was before, you know, he kind of smartened up now, but Aiden Ross, you know, before he started, you know, siding with Trump and doing all this stuff, right? Before that, you should have seen the stuff he was doing, man, and the influence he had on kids and the things that kids were doing. You know what I mean? And when you give a kid a phone, right? And this is the stuff that they see, whether they're on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all that type of stuff. Of course, that's going to rot their brains. They're going to start doing that stuff. Aiden Ross is probably, I, I don't, you know, I don't even like, I don't, I don't really care about him too much, but it's just like, these are the people that the internet puts on the forefront. Guys like him, Speed, these guys, these kids, these, you know, who are, who are corrupt in the minds of these young kids, you know, just by doing, you know, weird, weird things. Now, I, I agree with Tom McDonald. I think that this world has gone, you know, this world's gone mad. We're at this, we're at this point, you know, where it's like everything, it's just, it's just a bunch of these movements that, that go on for, you know, a couple months, a few protests that go on for a couple days, blah, blah, blah. And then it's, uh, you forget about that. Let's find the next thing. And, and the main thing I think that people don't understand is all these things that pop up, you know, whether it's Black Lives Matter, the LGBT movement, um, this D, they, them, he, she, this and that, the politics, all that, everything that goes on is meant to divide people. And it's a distraction because everything, you know, you, we're so blinded to what's really going on in this world, right? Because we're so focused on all this other garbage that's going on. Just leave. That's the, and there's, and there's nothing we can do about it. You know, as much as I wish that this stuff would just... Yeah, there's nothing I'll ever be able to do about it, but sit back and control what I can control. To the USA, where you're probably a racist if you're not gay. All of my blacks, all of my whites, if you want to left, if you want to right, if you got a weenie and or the genie, they, them, he, she. Everybody needs me. All of my straights, all of my gays, all of my bias who swing both ways. If you got a weenie, dot guys and peepees, they, them, don't call me a white boy, I identify as black My pronouns are the ones you didn't use, so now I'm mad My hunters go hunting while your hunter's smoking crack I can't say the R word, so y'all are handicapped All of my blacks, all of my whites If you on the left, if you on the right If you got a weenie and or the genie, they, them, he, she Everybody needs me All of my straights, all of my gays All of my bars who swing both ways One the doctor, tell him save me mud. Me to see one rapper, he a chichi man. Um, okay, yeah, if you guys want to stick around, feel free to. If you guys have seen enough of this, you know, feel free to hit that like button and, and you know, catch me in the next one. But now I'm going to really sit down and, you know, we're going to talk about things. So, you know, kind of when I was, because I feel like I was jumping all over the place, but kind of when I was talking about, you know, that these movements they got going on, right? I'm black. I'm, I'm half black. I should say that. I'm half black, half white. And, you know, when they were protesting all that Black Lives Matter stuff and everything, I'm sitting back like this. This little one, I'm sitting back like this. Like, are we serious right now? Is this really what we're doing? Is this really what we're doing? We're, we're, we're fighting one another, talk about Black Lives Matter, this and that. Meanwhile, we're doing it to ourselves. You know, I'm not even saying we're doing it to ourselves because I, I don't, you know, I don't condone none of that. I'm not sitting here, you know, hyping that type of stuff up. But you look at some of the worst places, you know, in the United States where you're looking at St. Louis, you know, Jacksonville, Chicago, Memphis. You're looking at some of those places, man, and the gang violence there. It's always black on black crime. So it's like, how are we going to sit here and, and blame another race, another group? For something that we're we're not even you know helping ourselves with this, it goes back to that saying like you can't you you know you can't help somebody if they're not willing to help themselves. Now I'm gonna leave it off there at that part, and then you know some of these foundations, some of these organizations that were collecting all these donations for Black Lives Matter, this and that, man, they were just pocketing that money. They weren't really doing nothing with it. That's why I don't fall into these trends. How I see it is, you know, we're all one. That's as simple as that. We're all one. And the choices you make for every choice you make, right, comes with, you know, consequences, whether it's good or bad. So we can't sit here and blame one side or one group or this or that, you know, for for, you know, something that's happening. And we're not even, you know, we're not even making a difference. Right. So I leave that the, the BLM stuff right there. Right. 
then you look at all these other movements okay i know gay people is that i don't i don't care what you are you know what i'm saying you be free do what you want as long as you're happy that's all that matters whatever okay but i talk like you know I, okay i shouldn't say okay i don't have gay friends i know gay people right and i talk I, when i talk to them and everything it's just like they tell me like oh man like i i um okay man this it sounds like this sounds terrible right now okay i'm not <laughs> i'm not saying i don't have gay friends because i don't that's not what i'm saying i just don't have people in my circle like my main circle that are gay simple as that okay but i know gay people and when i talk to gay people and you know i ask them questions sometimes because i want to know like what they say that i don't even like this lgbt movement because these are the ones that are marching protesting this and that forcing it on to other people these are the ones that are trying to make an active effort on pushing this agenda on to people that's what they tell me whereas you see like these these um, these just people who are gay right who just live their everyday life they're not bothering anybody nobody's bothering them they're not out here just doing it they just live in their life and i feel like it doesn't matter what you are or what you want to be or you know whatever the hell just just you don't got to make a big deal out of it. Not everybody needs to know you're this, you're that, and that you deserve special privilege because you're this, you're that, you're black, you're gay, you're lesbian, you know, you're white, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't, it, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? And the next thing we're going to touch on is this politics. You know, we got the left and the right, the Democrats and the Republicans. Like I say every time, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Watch what both sides do. You understand what I'm saying? When it comes to, you know, politics and everything, you guys know this. We've talked about this before. You know, I believe I'm, I, I lean way more to the right than I do to the left. There are some things that, you know, the left says that I agree with. But I think overall, you can put me in the center. You understand? And when I sit back and, and look at it, bro, I just look at both sides like clowns, you know, just clowns. Because you got one side saying this, you got one side saying that, and obviously they're just gonna clash it's meant to clash and then when people you know feed into that stuff all of a sudden the people divide and then it's back to race wars back to this back to that back to and it's like why why don't people understand why we always got to be at war with each other you know what i mean guns no guns abortion you know no abortion uh more movements less movements taxes this taxes that you know it's when when, when are we ever going to be able to agree on something you know, I think we need a revolution. I think we need to wipe the government clean. We need to start over. We got to find a new way to start over and everything. But, you know, I could talk on and on and on about this stuff. And, I, you know, I'm not sitting here trying to offend anybody um, whatsoever. You know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a real, I'm a fair person. I'm an honest person. And my intentions are never to come up on here and, and purposely offend somebody. But if I did say something that offended you, you know, it's I can't really I can't really do nothing about that, you know. Um, but Tom McDonald, like I said, I just like how he's able to come out here and, you know, just just sit here and speak, you know, sit here and speak the facts. And I know a lot of people don't agree with it and whatnot. But at the end of the day, you know, you don't have many artists that will come out here, put themselves in on the front lines like this and just spit because they're scared to be canceled. You know, they're scared to have their, their stuff shadow banned, blocked, all that. And it happens on the every day. Right youtube controls what they want people to see tiktok controls what they want people to see lots of people are too scared you know to speak the facts and everything i've had videos taken down because you know i've said some things and, and, and whatnot but i'm not gonna sit here and hold you guys too much longer i want to let you guys i want to know your guys thoughts on this world and you know the, the, the direction we're going if you think it's for the better if you think it's for the worse what do you think that we need to do to ensure that we ha we're setting a better future up for our kids and whatnot. But I'm not going to sit here and hold y'all too much longer. It's your boy, I'm Jay-Z, signing out, y'all. Yeah.